Welcome and uh, thank you uh, very much for being here. This is a, the first press conference of the Republican Assembly members, and we're going to call it the New New Jersey, and we're going to discuss the 215th legislature and our agenda. Let me start off by saying that I called the speaker this week to advise her that we were going to do this press conference, and I also invited her to do some joint press conference when we agree on issues. And before a session, because we agree on many issues, we can have a press conference together and tell members of the public on things we agree. Now, she's very, very nice, and I really like her, and I really respect her. But I don't think the Democrats govern very well. Because facts support our argument that for the last eight years, every statistic shows that they just don't do very well in government. So I'm hoping after two years of Chris Christie and two years of listening to our ideas that come November of 2013 that they're going to allow the Republicans a chance to go. Now, what are our priorities? They're really simple. Create jobs, lower taxes, work on education reform, work on tourism, those are the priorities that most New Jerseyans are interested in. And today, I'm going to highlight some of our members because I think person for person, we are a stronger caucus, we are better on policy, and we're better for the average New Jerseyan. And that's why we want to make sure that more Republicans two years from now serve in the legislature. But before I do that, I want to tell you that I think that the Democrats during their campaign indicated that they agreed with our priorities. And we have a couple posters. Well, I just make sure I don't pick the wrong poster. First, here is a, an indication that providing property tax relief for seniors and homeowners is, are the top priorities of some of the Assembly Democrats during their campaign. And another poster indicates jobs are the most important issue for voters. That also came from a Democratic <coughs> Assembly campaign. So my question to the speaker and to those members is, why don't you post real sick leave reform legislation? Why don't you post civil service reform? Why don't you post the Opportunity Scholarship Act? Why don't you join with the governor on a cross-the-board tax decrease, and why don't you give the governor veto power over the authorities? This type of legislation would have a significant impact on property taxes. My question is, the first day of this legislative two-year session does not have any of those issues. So my question to my friends across the aisle is, I really like you but you're not focusing on the right issues. So today I'm going to highlight some and, and speak to some of the members in the caucus. 